Just a couple of hours ago, the Power World devs released an early access roadmap. They have not talked about any release date as of yet, but considering all things, this will be within 2024. Due to the active community, the dev team has been able to identify a crazy amount of bugs. They are prioritizing fixing these. Bugs like never being able to get past the loading screen and random rollbacks are on the top of the fixing list. Most of you know that right now, key configurations are a problem in Power World, especially for Azure users. The dev team has said that they will make improvements to help counter these issues, but it's unclear as to when this will happen. If, in the meantime, you are having problems with keybinds, I did make a separate video on how to fix these. PAL AI will be getting overall improvements, including their pathing system. Currently, sometimes PALs have very weird behavior, causing them not to do as instructed or sometimes just bugging out. You can expect to see gradual improvements to the PAL AI over the upcoming months. Future updates will include things such as PVP, which is something a lot of you are excited about. Um, this feature was not available upon release. They said that this is due to them wanting to find a well-balanced system that fits within the ecosystem of PAL World itself, which is understandable. Due to this, I think that when PvP gets added, it will be like a whole new game due to all of the new available opportunities. In the planned future updates, they will be adding raid bosses. This will mainly be endgame content. This means you will actually have to come up with whole new strategies and defenses to protect your base because if these bosses are as destructive as fire is in PAL world, we surely have a new threat. I think it's safe to speculate that when these raid bosses get added, we will get quite a ton of new items and structures that will help you defend everything. Now that we know this, it makes more sense to start actually using iron gates and metal walls for your bases, which are already available at around level 40. I don't think this will be for the very near future, but uh, Steam and Xbox crossplay is something that will be coming hopefully this year. Currently, PAL World is not available on PlayStation. And the reason for that is because PlayStation does not allow for early access to games. But Steam and Xbox do. Seeing the current amount of daily players, I don't think that stops PlayStation users from buying the game on PC. Everyone has noticed that building in-game can be quite tricky and tedious. Fortunately, they are planning on improving the building system as we speak. Other than that, they are planning to add new islands, new PALs, bosses, and even more technologies. Even though the game has only been out for like a couple days, the modding community has already started working on custom mods for PAL World, enhancing the world even further. I myself will also be working on making mods, so who knows, you might see some in the near future. Someone has already made a mod to replace the PALs with actual Pokemons. Nintendo did not like that, so it looks like that'll be on hold for the time being. In all honesty, the future of PAL World looks promising, and it seems like this game will be here for years to come. Make sure you subscribe if you want to stay updated about new Power World news. That was it. Pixel Charms out.